Hi, everybody. All right. So today's message for spiritual growth is to consider your perspective about the problems that you encounter in life, particularly the unexpected problems. And I can speak to that very personally right now because um, last night we ran out of water. No water coming out of the faucet. It's a, it's a surprise, quite a shock, because I haven't had that experience for decades. Um, I moved to, we, uh, my wife and I moved to Mexico last year, and most of it is, uh, we're quite happy with the, the transition. Funny thing, a lot of people think, oh, Mexico is so dangerous, you know, cartels or whatever. And I'll tell you, that is, <laughs> We have not had one single hint at the danger of that kind of thing here. Um, instead, uh, what's been more dangerous is like, you know, bacteria getting, getting stomach flu or foot infection. That's much more dangerous here than any of the things you might see in the news. <clears throat> and also what's, what's, uh, <clears throat> what's, uh, and I'll get to the spiritual message in, in, in a bit, but some of you might be interested in this. What's also a uh, was unexpected problem was infrastructure here. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal. We have, you know, we have a bit more power outages than we did in the States. Um, we have more of them for sure. And they're, they're short, thankfully. And we figured out a way to, to make sure the internet stays on by having a little power bank thing connected to the internet Wi-Fi router anyway. So I never lose internet now. Um, but water is another interesting thing. I didn't expect that water would be so, um, it's much more do it yourself here. I mean, water comes in from the city, from the town, but then it, you have to like make sure it's filtered. Uh, otherwise, you know, even the tap water after it's filtered is not really drinkable. Um, and then th there's a system of the water goes to the, the rooftop reservoir and then comes down. And so if the water pump is broken, then it, that's what's happening. Anyway, so I am currently literally, <laughs> <laughs> today we are trying to fix the water pump so we have water again and obviously this was unexpected obviously inconvenient we didn't plan and today wasn't wasn't the perfect day to have this problem obviously <laughs> anything but it, but that and it made me realize that we are typically conditioned in our society to see problems as errors um, it's like, you know, God's perfect design. Why are there problems? Like, like if, if God loves us, if the universe has our back, if, um, the, all of existence is somehow all is well and things are perfect. Why is it that we have this life where problems come up and particularly unexpected problems. There are certain things you're like, oh, the world, the world would be better if this were true and let's work towards that. Okay. And that's like a planned problem where you are, you know, you kind of like expected, like you don't see that error in the world as being unusual because you grew up with it. Like, um, well, a lack of water for some people in the world <laughs> or world hunger. I mean, we, we grow up with them. We go, we, we want to work towards everyone having what they need to be well. And yet we don't see it as, I mean, we might question that spiritually too, but particularly when the unexpected problems happen in your own personal life, you're like, why is this happening to me? Right? Like what an inconvenience or what a trauma it might even be. And why does that happen? So the conditioning that we have from society comes from, you know, things we watch on the, in media where things are going okay. And then the hero experiences a problem and it's framed as, Oh, this should not have happened. This is bad. Right. And so in our own lives too, we are happy with one another when things are smooth. And when, when things go wrong, we say, you know, we, we, we frown, we say, this is not right. So we, in other words, the ongoing conditioning of our lives is that it's supposed 
to be fine all the time. And when something unexpectedly bad comes up, we are naturally like it's, it's acceptable to have negative emotions, right? It's acceptable to be, to be angry, sad, um, frozen, uh, you know, in terms of like, like it's, it's acceptable to wallow even in negative emotions when negative things happen. I mean, people say, Oh, I can see why you feel that way. It's totally fine. And I'm not saying it's not. Of course, we need to accept all of our feelings, but it's, it's still this conditioning that problems aren't like it's an aberration of a perfect reality. So let me offer you a different perspective on this. Why did you come to earth? <laughs> like, why were you born into this life? If you take on a spiritual perspective, it's not all random. Because it, what well, funny thing is, if you didn't believe in anything beyond the material world and you believe everything was random, the funny thing is, then even so, problems should not be seen as a bad thing. Because if everything were truly random, why wouldn't there be problems? Of course there are problems. Life is random, right? And as I'm think, talking to you, this, even atheists should be fully accepting of problems. The universe is a, is a series of random accidents, molecules bumping up against each other. And so why should life ever be smooth? You know, of course there should be random occurrences of good and bad and that we should just see them as well. This should be the case. And therefore, how will we deal with it with as much equanimity and courage and compassion as possible. But let's take a spiritual perspective now to say, I think maybe it's even harder for spiritual people to deal with problems because we think, why is God doing this to me? Well, why is life or the universe? Where are my guardian angels? Why, why you know, they're supposed to <clears throat> guide my life and make it smooth. Why is, why do I not have water? <laughs> the most basic, basic element of a human survival. So, and I'm grateful for the spiritual perspective I've been practicing these years because once this happened, I kind of, I kind of laughed. That was kind of my, my first reaction. First reaction was shock. Like, how come there's no second reaction was kind of laughter. It's like, oh, that's funny. Like this basic element of human survival. I wonder what God's up to, or I wonder what, you know, the divine is up to with this, with this situation introduced to our lives. And that's exactly what it is. And my, in my opinion, my spiritual opinion is we signed up for this. We signed up to have a series of problems for our souls to experience and to grow from. And to, and to test our souls. We signed up for this. And then we forgot. We purposely veiled our consciousness from the pre-birth planning process and the reality of that all is well. And this is a game. We <clears throat> purposely entered this experience not knowing about the greater reality. <clears throat> And so, so, and why do I have a frog in my throat while I'm trying to record a video here? <laughs> That's not supposed to be. Um, and so when problems come up, may we practice a perspective that brings more resources for us to work with, shall I, dare I say joy? on the problem, on the um, challenge, on the frustrating situation, on even the trauma. May we practice a spiritual perspective. And, and I am curious what that might mean for you. The next time an unexpected problem comes up, what will you practice? What are you practicing even before problems come up? Are you continually, continually, continually 
reconnecting again and again and again to the greater reality, your greater perspective about life. And if so, when problems come up, it's an instant opportunity for you to practice that perspective. It's like instantly, that should be the first thing that you do. Practice the perspective, the greater perspective. Because otherwise, you are automatically practicing the conditioned perspective of, oh, woe is me. Oh, why is this happening to me? What a, what a bummer. You know, and, and it comes with it could be sadness, anger, confusion, um, resistance, right? Avoidance. And those are not helpful for solving the problem. And it, those are not helpful for, you know, other people around you, actually, right? It, it, it the, the negative emotions <clears throat> are like a, a virus that spreads. To other people as well and if more people around you have negative emotions then it just makes the problem that much harder to solve and more suffering is created and we don't want that we don't have to have that so once again what perspective are you practicing in the smooth times and then what perspective will you instantly bring back to mind when an unexpected problem comes up. You might want to pause the video now and comment below if you want to share your perspective. I always welcome that. And I always um, hope that I can inspire you to reconnect with your, your deeper, meaningful perspective, whether it's same or different or very different than mine. What's important is the perspective you have is deeply meaningful for you and is a resource for you at all times that you can bring back again and again. So what is that for you? What, what perspective will you bring to mind right away to bring to heart, to soul right away when an unexpected problem hits your life? Comment below if you wish to. And then when you're ready, I'm going to share mine with you. So pause the recording. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's mine. I hope you have reflected on yours first. So why, well, I, I guess, I'm sorry, I, I actually just said it earlier, right? Like we were, we were born for this. We planned this before we were born. That's why we were born for this. We um, felt, we felt our, our souls believed that these problems would be of the greatest benefit for our soul. So it's not just even like, ah, let's see what happens if we do this. It's not just like a science experiment where we have no idea what might happen if we do this. Well, even science experiments are done purposefully, right? Like you don't, I, I'm not a scientist, but scientists have a hypothesis. They start with a, okay, we believe that this might be the theoretical framework for this situation. Well, let's test. Let's go into the lab and test it out. And that's actually not a bad perspective for, for the soul, the soul's evolution as well. The soul before birth, I believe, said, we have a hypothesis. <clears throat> if we introduce these problems to this personality in this lifetime, we believe that the personality will grow in courage. It will have this needed experience for it to, to understand compassion better. Uh, it will be able to stretch itself so that it will learn perseverance. Uh, it will find the necessity of connecting deeply with the divine. So to lean more on God or the universe, it will uh, make the soul require it to practice, uh, to, to lean on others for support, thus learning interdependence, you know, or, or whatever it may be. And that, that's actually literally true. Uh, we, we have needed to get our neighbor's help today um, to try to solve the problem. And, um, Anyway, so um, therefore, the perspective that I'm bringing to this is, wow, problems, especially unexpected problems, are literally there because we believed, the soul believed, it's optimal to have this experience for the soul's growth. So it's not random and it's not an aberration. It's not an error, a mistake in the soul's planning. No, no, no. It's the very <laughs> experience 
that we believed is best for us. So it's not, it's not what the, the human ego would say. Oh, this is so bad. This is the worst possible result, worst possible, uh, you know, outcome of, of, of a smooth life. No, this is the best possible outcome according to the soul for us to grow in some way for us to uh, again experience more of what might be connection with the divine once again and so it's such a different perspective like I said, it's like a flip flip the, flip the conditioning from no this is not good to no yes this is actually somehow the best and how might I fully immerse myself in this situation and experience the different facets of the soul and stretch myself in ways that the soul would be so grateful that I stretched. So anyway, I hope this is of encouragement. Uh, I hope that this helps you to accept your all of your life circumstances and to have more inner resources, therefore, to approach them with as much grace, with as much courage and um, compassion for yourself. Because um, your soul believed that you can get through whatever it is that's going to come up for you. Um, and your soul believed that it is the best for you. May that perspective really make your life much more joyful i hope this is the case anyway i hope to see your comments below on what your perspective is um you know whether it's a similar or very different i look forward to it and may we all find more deep deep fulfillment in life and deep meaning in every circumstance thanks for being here thanks for joining me on this journey